The Artilleryman's Vision by Walt Whitman While my wife at my side lies slumbering, and the wars are over long, and my head on the pillow rests at home, and the vacant midnight passes, and through the stillness, through the dark, I hear, just hear, the breath of my infant. There in the room as I wake from sleep, this vision presses upon me. The engagement opens there and then, in fantasy unreal. The skirmishes begin, they crawl cautiously ahead. I hear the irregular snap, snap. I hear the sounds of the different missiles, the short th -th 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 of the rifle balls. I see the shells exploding, leaving small white clouds. I hear the great shells shrieking as they pass, the grape like the hum and whir of wind through the trees. Tumultuous now the contest rages, all the scenes at the batteries rise in detail before me again, the crashing and smoking, the pride of the men in their pieces. The chief gunner ranges and sights his piece, and selects a fuse of the right time. After firing, I see him lean aside, and look eagerly off to note the effect. Elsewhere, I hear the cry of a regiment charging. The young colonel leads himself this time with brandished sword. I see the gaps cut by the enemy's volleys, quickly filled up, no delay. I breathe the suffocating smoke, then the flat clouds hover low, concealing all. Now a strange lull for a few seconds. Not a shot fired on either side. Then resumed the chaos, louder than ever, with eager calls and orders of officers, while from some distant part of the field the wind wafts to my ears a shout of applause. Some special success, and ever the sound of the cannon far or near, rousing, even in dreams, a devilish exultation and all the old mad joy in the depths of my soul, and ever the hastening of infantry, shifting positions, batteries, cavalry, moving hither and thither, the falling, dying, I heed not, the wounding, dripping and red, I heed not, some to the rear are hobbling, grime, heat, rush, aide-de-camps, galloping by, or on a full run, with the patter of small arms, the warning st of the rifles. These, in my vision, I hear or see, and bombs bursting in air, and at night the very-coloured rockets.